Hey all, this is Devin. I hope you can hear me. I'm assuming you can. If you cannot, please turn up the volume. Uh, this is Writing Daily. We're here pretty much every day delivering uh, writing tips and stuff to make your life easier, whether you're crafting a personal letter or you are writing the great American novel, or in this case, I'm going to turn you on on how to get started by writing your first travel article and what stuff you need to do in advance to make that happen so you can start writing a lot of travel travel articles. Uh, sadly, a lot of people have started travel blogs. I don't know what they're doing. It's terrible. Uh, I have been doing this for a very, very long time. Uh, in the, I am the editor-in-chief of In the No Traveler. We've now been around for almost 14 years on the internet, which for most people is like forever. Uh, so I'm doing that. I'm also, I have an MFA in creative writing. I've written for numerous travel uh, uh, magazines and outlets, um, have traveled to 85 countries around the world, and I teach people how to do this. So anyway, long story short, I am here to, uh, to turn you on to the world of travel writing, and I'm going to teach you the easiest way to do it where you don't have to worry really about too much. And I think we can probably do this in under 10 minutes. We are going to see. But real briefly... Um, as I said before, I've been, you know, I was the editor in chief for, uh, of, of In the No Traveler for the last 14 years. Uh, but I was writing for a couple of years before that, before In the No Traveler ever really came to be. Uh, and, uh, again, it's allowed me to see the world. So some of the things I'm going to be talking about are going to be very, very specific specific to travel writing and how you do that, but I want you to kind of consider the possibilities that if you want to do some additional writing that's not necessarily travel related, uh, hopefully you can kind of use a little bit of imagination uh, to allow that to flourish in other directions as well. So let's, uh, let's uh, oh, and as always, you know, answer or ask questions here. I'm going to respond to questions whether you're watching me uh, live or not. I always love to hear from you, so make sure that you hit the like button. Uh, if there is one, follow me on Twitter, all that kind of fun stuff, uh, so you can always find me to get some great advice on traveling as well as writing. So anyway, so this is, uh, I, I would have written these more neatly under normal circumstances, but I was running late, as you can tell, I'm unshaven. The first one is how to write your very first article. So a lot of people don't know where to start, and I'm going to make it so easy for you, it's going to be crazy. It's, um, yeah, this is, we're having technical difficulties this morning. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to suggest that you do is contact your local tourism office. Almost certainly, unless you live in a tiny, tiny, you know, town that has no attractions uh, and has no wineries and they have nothing to do and it's sort of like a tiny, it's like the town is just you and a farming community. Most places have some sort of a tourism board and if they don't have one directly in your specific, like every major city will have one and most minor cities will have them. Even a lot of smaller communities will have them. Somebody who's promoting the neighborhood, promoting the area to bring people in to spend money. And it is huge business. It's not little business. It is huge, huge, huge business. I just, as many of you know, I went to a travel show uh, about 10 days ago. And I mean, they had hundreds of booths that were from all kinds of destinations, large and small, some representing the entire country, some representing just a tiny town that had some particular thing uh, of note, of interest that they were encouraging people to come visit. Sometimes it's just even a stretch of road. So that all said, wherever it is that you live in the world, there's probably a tourism board that is either directly in your town or probably somewhere nearby. So keep that in mind. So again, you can check out with your local tourism board. That's I would certainly start there. If you don't have a local tourism board, I would actually suggest that you go to a local hotel, especially if you have like a brand name, whether it be Holiday Inn or the Four Seasons or some fantastic resort, uh, you know, so you can start there. If you don't have either a tourism board or 
a hotel, you may want to try a local attraction. Uh, the local tr attraction, probably the, some of the best known ones are maybe the Golden Gate Bridge or the Grand Canyon. Uh, things that people go to see and have an experience with, uh, even if it's driving across the bridge. There's somebody who's representing that attraction somewhere. It may be a PR firm. It may be, again, part of the local tourism board. It may be just some person. But whatever it is, these are the kinds of people that you are going to want to uh, connect with in some way. So what you want to do is, I mean, quite literally, you could just do a search on this, like, you know, contact tourism board and name your city, state, or country. Uh, contact local uh, hotels in your city, state, country, right? And that's where you start. And then what you're going to do is you are going to contact them and you say, hey, listen, I love my city where I'm living. Because you have to remember that even though your your town, your city is sort of like old hat to you, and when you think of travel, you're probably thinking, well, I, if I don't go to Paris, then I'm not traveling, or if I'm not going to this other place, I'm not traveling. But that's actually not true, because what ends up happening is somebody from Los Angeles is going to be driving to Ventura this weekend, probably a lot of people. So, there, so, so Ventura to somebody from Ventura may not be all that thrilling, but there's people traveling to Ventura like right now who are just going there for the day to see what's going on there and have their experience. So this is true all around the world. So even though it may not be interesting to you, it's going to be interesting to somebody. Like even if you are in the middle of nowhere and the only thing you've got in town is like the world's largest ball of twine, then great. Then start with the world's largest ball of twine because there's somebody who is into yarn or knitting and they're going to want to know all about your ball of, of, of yarn or, or twine. So that's where you start. It's, a, it's an easy thing to do. So then what you're going to do is when you contact them, you are going to find out what they need. Uh, and it could be anything. Hey, I'm, you know, this is my home. I love it here. Um, I wanted to start, you know, I want to test myself and I want to write a couple travel articles. Is there anything that I can help you with? What would you like me to do? Don't ask for anything. I mean, if they want to add you to a contact list, totally do that. But if that's not the case, then just see how you can be useful to them and let them point you in a direction. They may say, hey, well, we know a restaurant opening. We know some other thing. Here's a number to call. Check them out. We've got this new hotel that's opening up in six months. Maybe you want to speak to somebody. And then go interview them. Go take some pictures. Go ask them questions. Let them tell you about their place. And really what they're going to do for you is they're going to outline the story that you're going to write. How easy is that? And you do this just by interviewing them. I promise you, if you meet like a tourism official, if you meet a PR person, their job is to make writing an article for you as simple as possible so that you can present their thing in, in the best light possible. And of course, this is part of the way that I have certainly traveled the world and eaten really fantastic restaurants, uh, eaten in some fantastic restaurants and really lived a fantastic life in the travel universe. The good news is, is that I am really all about, like, I think we're supposed to know each other. I think we're supposed to know each other's cultures. I think we're supposed to know each other's customs. And I think we're supposed to be kind to each other. So for me, promoting travel couldn't be easier because whether you are in Lesotho, in Southern Africa, or whether you are in Redondo Beach, California, I want the person who's like, oh, should I go to Lesotho? I, don't know, I haven't heard some, I haven't heard great things. But I've been there, and I have loads of great things to tell you about it. One of my favorite pictures of myself is taken right at the gate uh, between South Africa and Lesotho, and I had a wonderful time. So that's be that as it may, the idea is you, you start wherever it is that you can start. You don't have to worry about free stuff because I guarantee you, if you write a few articles about your home area, that word will start spreading because all of those local communities speak to each other. All of the state speaks to itself because they have they have events. And then over time, you say, hey, I would love to be on your media contact list. Hey, I would love to know when the next trade event is. Hey, if they're doing a hotel opening, how can I be a part of it? And you'll start receiving invites. But you start at home. It's free and it's easy. And you might even be, say, be able to sell an article for two. 
Then here's the most important part is that once you've made these contacts, once you have done all sort of like the legwork to find your place and you find out what they need and what they're looking for, here is the biggest bit of advice I can possibly give you. Deliver it. Make sure that whatever it is that you are offering, uh, you actually follow up and do. Like I would much rather see you not follow the first four steps of this advice if you cannot deliver the fifth. This is the most important thing that you can possibly do. And this is probably true of any kind of writing where you're going to be pr promising something. In other words, if you're promising a manuscript, then you have to deliver upon it because world, word will spread quickly. Nobody has the time to sort of mess around with it. So whatever you're going to be writing, you're absolutely going to want out to go and deliver it. And by the way, thank you so much for, for liking my, my thing. So uh, what we're doing right now is we're just going over quickly uh, some of the quick things that you can do to get started in travel writing. So that means contact your local tourism board. It means if they don't work, contact your local hotel. Brand names are probably the best because they have the biggest marketing departments. Start with, if that doesn't work, local attractions. This can include restaurants. Certainly uh, hip and trendy ones also have marketing departments, so this is probably a great way to go as well. Find out what they need and then deliver it. And as always, if you like what we're doing, hit sort of the like button, the wow button, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to me on YouTube. All this is going all over the place. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Um, and uh, as always, we're going to do something else tomorrow. I think we're going to talk about writing prompts tomorrow, which uh, will be fun and uh, I think informative and hopefully get you started to keep writing. So remember, we are writing daily. I am Devin Galladay, and I hope to see you guys really soon. Thanks.